Now to another developing story out of Washington. The House Ethics Committee is going to continue its investigation into Illinois Representative Marie Newman. There are questions about whether she promised a government job in exchange for a candidate to not run against her. So join us with more insight. Chicago Sun-Times Washington Bureau Chief Lynn Sweet. Lynn, thanks so much for joining us today. Good evening. Let's talk a little bit first about what she's being accused of. Ayman Chihadi is the person she's accused of trying to give that job for in return for him not running against her. Not only will this affect Marie Newman, this probe, but it also affects Chihadi, doesn't it? Well, yes, though so the main emphasis, he's a candidate in the new third district that's based on the north side. So I, I, know, I don't want to use district numbers because we have old and new districts in this right. transition mm -hmm. period. So at issue is whether or not in 2018, the former e. Newman had officially declared for the 2020 race, whether or not she, she signed a contract with Shahidi to give him a government job if she won the election in 2020. Now, in the lawsuit he filed and in other accusations, he said that Newman induced him into refraining from running for office by offering to employ him in her office should she be elected. And that, in a nutshell, is what the investigation is about. These allegations surfaced in a lawsuit first filed in Cook County Circuit Court, then in federal district court. Now, Newman has denied that she did anything wrong in this case. Can you explain what her lawyer is using to defend uh, her actions? Yes. And let's look at, in terms of wrong, we'll have a political uh, issue and then the issue that she's in, in uh, being looked at now by the House Ethics Committee is whether or not she uh, violated any rules or regulations of the House. Her lawyers say that she couldn't have violated anything because she wasn't a member of the House at the time that she signed that contract. Now, Newman has had issues before. She's been on the radar before, hasn't she? I'm not sure what you're talking about in terms of other issues. I can't say that no other issues whatever you're referring to are involved in this case right now. Now, the, the lawsuit, by the way, was settled last year, and the terms were not made public. But a few days after this was signed off on as a settlement in the federal court, uh, Shahad Shahidi ended up on her political payroll, where he continues until today. And yes, in the meantime, he launched his own run for Congress in the North Side District. Marie Newman, as our listeners might know, is in a battle with Congressman Sean Caston uh, in these newly drawn out districts. Uh, this is really fascinating to really get into all of this here, Lynn. Uh, I don't want to get too technical, but there's two investigations, the Office of Congressional Ethics and the House Committee on Ethics. How are these two different and what are the, uh, the consequences for each one? Okay, actually, it's not two investigations. It's all part of one. Mm -hmm. And that is, uh, and this is a point that Newman's uh, uh, attorneys and her, her team argue, even though this, this contract was in a lawsuit that the public could have seen and uh, any reporter could have written about it. However, so there's no information that wasn't on the public uh, docket, but a complaint was filed by a conservative group with the Office of Congressional Ethics. Anyone can file complaints to this group. It's a standalone agency. It's not part of the House. They conducted an investigation. Marie Newman was deposed. Uh, they looked at uh, they looked at the situation, talked to people, and investigated. They made a recommendation then to the House Ethics Committee that they look into it because they concluded that there's a potential of some problem or some violation. Now, that's just a recommendation. Doesn't mean anything. But because it didn't stop there, the House now is going to look at these allegations Typically, they have the ability to do their own probe, take their own depositions. They have the power to subpoena witnesses if they want, may not come to that. So it's really just the one probe that has uh, impact right now is this House Ethics Committee that is hanging over her. All right, Sun-Times Washington Bureau Chief Lynn Sweet, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well. Thank you.